All right. Thanks, Ruben. Hey, summer is here. Uh, it's already warm outside, and uh, people are wasting water left and right without even realizing it. We're going to kind of tune you in today on some of the things that you can do to really cut down on your bill and save water at the same time. Pa Tiger Palafox is here, an expert on water conservation. Great to see you again. How you been? Doing great. Doing really well today. Now, normally when we talk to you, we're talking uh, outdoors, uh, and we're going to get to the indoor stuff here in just a right. second. But let's kind of start with the outdoor stuff here today. That's and, almost 50% of your water bill yeah, for some people. That's why I wanted to start there is because yeah. I, I was telling you, I just let my lawn go finally. I'm not going to water it anymore uh -huh. because I just can't afford the water. Uh, and that's kind of a, a fault of the way the landscaping was set up in the first place. Right. Well, there you go. Start with the landscape. You know, what kind of shrubs, what kind of trees, what kind of flowers are you putting in the yard, and how much water are they going to take? Make sure it it's accommodates the area that you live in. If you live in the East County and it's hot, you're going to want things that tolerate a little bit more heat, a little less water. If you live coastal, it's okay to plant some of those more tropical plants because right. we get that mild temperature. So and make sure you don't have to water them all the time. Exactly. But now, if you want to keep water in your yard, there are some things that you can do that really get the, the most out of the water that you use. And, and it's really simple. First thing is making sure you're familiar with the irrigation clock. Making sure you know how to turn it down or turn it up during the summertime. Making sure you know what days it's watering so it's not watering too frequently and how effective to water. So people need to familiarize themselves. The, 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 the irrigation clock today is the VCR clock of yesterday. Right. So a lot of people get fear of it, and, you know, but don't. Get familiar with it. Another thing that you can easily install, and it kind of seems lame to do right now, but you can do it, is a sensor that senses when there's moisture in the air because it'll automatically turn the water off. So if we get rain, it automatically turns your sprinkler system off. This but is that, that's not a businesses. That's especially. not a big thing. It's not a, but it's something that you can do that is going to save you a lot of money down the road. And, and almost all clocks have that uh, capability, but people just don't get the little sensor. And they sell wireless, and they sell wired ones. So it's really easy to install. Now, um... Also, you can just change out the, the sprinkler heads themselves. Now, show folks how easy this is because yeah, so they're low-flow sprinkler heads exactly. that are very adjustable. Right. So what this is is this is a MP rotator sprinkler head. This is produced by Hunter Irrigation, and it's a low-flow. So you're getting a lower amount of water out at a time, but at the same time, it's falling and absorbing into the soil where a high flow system floods the area and, and you runs get a lot off, of runoff, okay. especially on slopes. So this is your existing sprinkler here. You can simply screw off the old nozzle and screw one of these right on there. Isn't and, Hunter a local company? And I think Hunter is. Yeah. Hunter and Toro are both local companies. Yeah. So, you know, it's a really effective, really cost-saving system as well for your irrigation. Okay, Easy so think about that, folks. And that's it's not going to cost you a fortune to do that, but you go out and just change out the heads on here. You don't even have to do everything all at once. Just change out one area at a time. Right. See how it works for you. But uh, that'll cut way, way down on your water. Yeah, uh, huge savings in the water bill in the long run, but also savings for our environment because we're not using the water. We're not getting water from elsewhere. Saves on energy and all kinds of other stuff. Now let's go inside yeah. for a second. And you know, everybody jokes about the low flow toilets. They don't work. You gotta flush them twice anyway. Now they've gotten much, much more efficient. The toilets in general have gotten much, much more efficient, and that's really awesome. But really an innovative idea is the two-flush system. So basically you've got one flush that's designed for number one, and then you've got another flush designed for number two. Okay, now it's a, and, and again, it makes perfectly good sense. If you only need to, to flush just a, a little amount of liquids, exactly, you don't need three gallons of water to do nope. that. So what do I do if I don't want to go out and buy a new toilet, though, to get a two-flush system? They sell easy modifications. They're like 20 bucks that will fit any toilet nowadays. And you're looking at saving a gallon to a gallon and a half per flush. Now, there's 3 million people in San Diego County, and I know that we all use the <laughs> toilet at least once a day. So you could literally save 3, millions of gallon, 3 million gallons of water a day if everybody got on board here. Exactly, because we're just wasting water every time we flush it. We're wasting water, especially when it goes with number one, because you don't need that much. So it's really simple. They sell these modification kits that you can install in any toilet. Drops right in. Drops right in. You click it in, and then if you see on top here, they, they fit on the side here or on the top of the toilet, whether it's designed, and you push one for small one for number one and a bigger one for number two. And you know what's awesome is that I went down to Dixie Line a few weeks back, right. and I talked to Tim, the one down at the sports arena one, and he got me all set up on everything I need to do. 
I didn't even need any tools to do the modification. I literally didn't need a screwdriver, a wrench, anything. It was all done with my See, hands. See, and you and actually know how to use that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for people that don't. But for guys like me, exactly. that's really, really important. So uh, Yeah, so that was really awesome. So they were really cool down there because they had a whole section set up that they can show you exactly what you need to do. And for 20 bucks a toilet, you're going to save that in six to eight months on your water bill. Now, there's also things like you know cutting down on shower time and so forth. Uh, I, you know, I, I put a circulation pump in oh, yeah. that I can just flip on, and, and within 30 seconds, there's hot water throughout the whole house instead of leaving the shower on for three minutes waiting for hot water to get upstairs. That's a great thing to do. Definitely evaluate the water heating system so it comes out quicker so you're not wasting the water. If, that, if that's just not an option, putting a bucket down in the shower to save the water save and the, use yeah. it elsewhere. Save it, then water with it, sure. Dishes, brushing your teeth, all of that. Making sure you're being conscious. And you know where it starts? It starts with your children. Because if they learn to shut the water off and, while they're brushing their teeth, if they learn to do the dishes with the appropriate amount of water and so on, they're going to carry it on in their life, and then it's just going to become second nature to yeah, them. Yeah, but it's you know what's so really easy. annoying? They start <laughs> bugging you about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> After when, you teach when you leave the light on in the hallway, they're like, they'll yeah, remind you. Doctor Mendenhall's over there is going. That's right. They will. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tiger, great to see you. Also, I want to mention on my Facebook, I put a little image of a door hanger that you can put on someone's house, and if you're walking by. You can simply put that on their door, just letting them know, hey, you have a leaky faucet. Hey, your irrigation system's running in the street. Just a friendly reminder, because my irrigation comes on at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So if a sprinkler head pops off and you didn't know it, exactly. it's blowing out into the street, yeah. be nice to have a little note. Exactly. Tiger, always great to see you. And you can Thank check you. out Tiger's uh, website, uh, or his Facebook, Facebook page. Facebook, yeah, Facebook yeah. page as well.